Welcome to uh, my my channel, and you know, you may have been here before, you may have not. Regardless, I'm playing My Garage. I've been absolutely addicted to the game since I got it. Um, and I've seen several people asking about how you build the inline six diesel. Um, and I, I've built quite a few of them. I'm really familiar with it, and I figured I'd make a, a video here showing how you do it. Um, for interest of time and everything, I have everything laid out here. For a high performance inline six turbo diesel and a regular one, I will be showing how to install both intakes. And uh, they will be time stamped. Um, so, I, I believe let's let's stop uh, let's stop talking. Let's get started. Obviously, and you start with your wrench. And from here, it's personal preference on where you start. Personally, I like to start from the bottom of the block and build up. So. In that case, we're going to start over here with our crankshaft. I, I already have five of the pistons on and just putting... It's just like any other engine in the game. You put your crankshaft on, tighten it down. Just tighten down the two bolts. That's simple. And then on top, or on the front of the front of the crankshaft, you want to put your crankshaft sprocket. Very important. I've forgotten these a couple times. And your engine does not run. And it's a nightmare trying to troubleshoot. Next, on top of that, you want your crankshaft pulley. You put that on there, one bolt, that's it. And so now we're going to flip this thing around. And then we're going to put our flywheel on here. Once again, it's just like any other vehicle. Put the flywheel on. You tighten down your eight bolts. You put your clutch plate on. You put your clutch, or your pressure plate on. Not to be confused with the Minecraft pressure, pressure plate. Don't get those two confused. It can happen very easily. Next, pick up your crankshaft and slap it in there. I wish it was that easy in real life. But next, you just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight bolts. And then that's your crankshaft installed. So from here, you can go ahead and install your oil pan if you'd like. Doesn't make much of a difference. For your oil pan, it is one, two, Come on, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bolts. There's none other around the sides or anything like that. That's all ten. Next, starter. Already on the bottom of the block. Might as well put it on. Put on one bolt and I believe two bolts. There you go. Just like any other starter. Nice and simple. So from here, we're going to go ahead and rotate our engine block upright. Now we're going to build the front half of the engine. So from here, uh, I would just recommend starting with your um, chain. I don't know why I was drawing a blank on that. You can throw your chain on there, and then it makes it really easy to see what else you need to put in. So for instance, right here, you want to put your fuel pump. So we're going to grab our fuel pump. It doesn't have to be high performance. That's just personal preference here. And then you take one, one, two bolts, tighten it in, and you don't have to do anything on the front half of this, which is nice. Um, and then from here, you're going to get your timing cover, and you put your, you're going to put your timing cover on. One, two, let's not get stuck on the engine stand. Three, four, five, and yep, that's it. So now you have that part built. Next, you're going to build the head. And so I recommend doing this off of the block. Just it's, it's easier than trying to build it all on the block. So you have your head. And um, you put your injectors up on this top row right up here. And then you put your glow plugs. Very important. Make sure the glow plugs on this bottom one. So you just put them in. You take your spark plug socket. Tighten it. You take your... Uh, Injector, just drawing a blank on it, and you, you get it in, you tighten it up, and there you go. Uh, from there, bef before you just go and slap it on, don't forget your head gasket. You will cry yourself to sleep tonight if you forget your head gasket. So now you slap the head on there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. That's it. Really simple. All right. 
Now we're going to go over here and we're going to put our cram, uh, camshaft sprocket on the front of our camshaft and it's just one bolt on the front and then you just slap that up and then ready count with me one two three four five six seven eight nine d d ten eleven twelve th th come on come on thirteen fourteen yay fourteen bolts all right now now that's your chain and everything done if you'd like you can peek your head inside the engine make sure you have your crankshaft sprocket and your camshaft sprocket both are really important and then from here you don't have to do anything with the head uh, anymore so you just you, you grab well you okay I mean you know in, inside your valves so now you grab your valve cover one two and then three four five once again just like any other valve cover really simple and then here's where it gets complicated we're, we're going to start off you can grab your oil filter slap that on there I think that's the oil filter let me double check make sure I'm not stupid fuel filter sorry fuel filter bolt that down there and then that's your fuel filter so next we're gonna go ahead and do the fuel hoses which this one is where a lot of people make their mistakes you've got to take what's up right you've got to tighten down every one of these if you don't do that then your fuel hoses will leak fuel and you know your engine won't run shocker I know <laughs> and then uh, from here we're gonna grab our glow plug relay you just kind of, you know, I, I've, I figured out, wave just kind of wave it around here. Eventually you'll find it. There you go. In between those two plugs. Tighten that down. And there you go. That's the power to your glow plugs somehow. I don't really know how that works. But I'm just going to pretend like that's exactly how it works and move on with my life. Okay. So next we're going to do the oil filter. You slap your oil filter housing. And then it's one bolt two bolts just like that really simple and then you grab your oil filter you put it in there and then you grab your oil filter lid and then you plop it on top of there one bolt two bolts that's it really really easy All right. and so now the front half of the engine we st you've got to have we're gonna start with the alternator so you gotta get your alternator bracket and put it down here at this uh, th at this corner and then it's just one, two. Okay, from here you can just grab your alternator and just slap that alternator there. One, two, and yep, that is your alternator installed. Next, we're going to install your water pump. Very important. And your water pump just installs that little crevice down there. And then one, two. If you can't find it, it is. You, you can you can see the bolt right there all right next we're going to install our tensioner belt tensioner we just kind of throw that there right in the middle of the engine and that's just one bolt holds that on really easy uh, and then our steering pump our steering pump goes right here on this little bracket you put that there and then one two okay and then your engine fan that goes on top of your uh, your, your uh, water pump right there uh, okay and now we install the belt. Just install your install your belt just like that. And there you go. That is the engine block itself built. And now I'm going to show you the intake manifold for stock and then the turbo. So for stock you need your intake manifold thing here. And I would advise building this off of the engine just because I find that easier. You just boop. It'll jump out of the ground at you. But don't worry, it won't bite you. You attach those, you take your air filter, you put that in there, and you take your air filter lid, you put it on there, no bolting down having to do for the air filter box. And to take it apart, um, you just use the pry tool, and then you just pry, and then boom, opens right up. Real easy, real easy. All right, now for this, you just put that on there. And then one, two, three, four, it's just, you know what, I'm just going to tell you, it's two bolts on every single one of these. You can figure it out. So 12 bolts total. Um, but, yep, and then your, your exhaust manifold works like any other exhaust manifold. Except for it doesn't, because I grabbed the one for the inline-six, not the inline-six diesel. Whatever, you can figure it out.
I believe in you. You're you're smart. Um, unlike me, apparently. <laughs> but no, um, that's just that just works like any other exhaust manifold. It's just simple. But for the uh, intake manifold for the turbocharger, you get you you get this. Put it on, and then bolt. Oops, bolt. Tighten it down. Just make sure you tighten down 12 bolts. Two on each. Really easy. Perfect. There we go. And from here, we're going to take our exhaust uh, manifold for the inline six diesel. Or sorry, what's it? Let me let me get you the technical name. It's the uh, exhaust manifold L for the inline six diesel. This is the turbo variant. And then it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kind of a pain to access those. Yep. And then from here, you're going to put your turbocharger on it. Real easy. Boom. And then one bolt. And come on. Two bolts. You put your air filter turbo on there. Tighten down your one bolt there. And there you go. Congratulations. You have built yourself an inline six diesel. But um, if y'all enjoyed this, let me know if I should make more. Um, you know, I've got, I think, what it was there, the uh, VA inline six and the inline four. Um, well, yeah, so I, I got three more videos I can make out of this. Woohoo! No. Um, but yeah, that's, that's really all there is to this. I, uh, hope this helped you. And if it didn't, then good luck finding another tutorial video on it. And, uh, goodbye.